That, that, that is enough said. What's up, Heat Nation? Your boy Ernest here, bo 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 back with another Miami Heat Talk video, video number two of the day. So would really appreciate if you could show some support by liking the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, you guys, because we pushing to 5,000 subscribers. Now, we're gonna rock and roll on another Miami Heat Talk adventure. Uh, this video that I'm posting you get today, you guys, it's a response of something that was mentioned today earlier from Dan Levitard. Uh, I'm sure pretty much almost every Miami Heat fan that hears that name knows exactly who he is. Dan Levitard is the man down here in South Florida. He was the original OG for the journalism, for the investigative reporter down here in South Florida. Um, has a show, he used to have a show on ESPN. Now he works on his own radio show called The Dan Levitard Show. Very entertaining show. Uh, but he was mentioning something today. And he started bringing up a possibility of the Miami Heat getting Kevin Durant. When that happened, Twitter exploded. Not only Twitter, but Heat fans in general were going crazy. Even I was getting phone calls and text messages from friends and family that I knew sending me these posts saying, yo, Ernest, you see what's gonna happen? The Miami Heat's gonna get Kevin Durant. How can the Miami Heat do that? And what I did was I just sent them a link to the video that I posted about a few weeks ago about this. We talked about Kevin Durant. We've broken this down fully. But I'm gonna do it again today. Now before I do it, let us let me go ahead and quote exactly what Dan Levitard said, because there's a lot of stuff to this to be dissected that makes a lot of sense. First and foremost, this is what he said, and I quote, Pat Riley doesn't have any reason in the world to still be working at his age approaching 80. Damn. He's not going to wait around for another young team to ferment. Facts. I have assumed Remember that word, assumed that the next play is going to be trying to get Kevin Durant again. I've assumed that's the move they're going to try and get in play for because I don't see a better one, end quote. There was a lot of stuff that he said in this video. It was a two minute video of stuff I was seeing in uh, Twitter X. But one of the things that Dan Levitard was saying that's not in this quote was for next year. Next year. Not this season, the following season. Because the Miami Heat and Phoenix Suns, you guys, are two teams that are incredibly hampered. Now look, would I love KD on this team? Of course. Kevin Durant last year played a lot of games, played about 75 games, 27 points a game, seven rebounds, five assists. You know, he's a sniper. He's one of the best scorers in history in the NBA. You'd be a fool not to want Kevin Durant, but we are all forgetting this magical little thing called the new collective bargaining agreement. Apparently people keep forgetting about these new first and second apron tax hits. Phoenix Suns, are currently a second apron team. Now guys, when you're a second apron team, you become incredibly limited. You lose your mid-level exception. You lose your biannual exception. You can't sign, um, wow, I'm, I'm brain farting. You can't buy out players. You can't sign buy out players in mid-season. Uh, you forfeit sign in trades. You are hampered so much. And let's not forget that you, you, your first round draft pick in seven years from now gets frozen also. But another thing that you cannot do when you're a second apron team, and I'm going to repeat this very clearly, is you cannot aggregate trades. You cannot take multiple players and trade him to Phoenix. So for these people that are thinking, oh yeah, get Kevin Durant, just take Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson and send them to Phoenix and you can get Kevin Durant. Can't do that. Phoenix is a second apron team. You can't take multiple players for one guy. You can't. It has to be a straight 1-1 one -one trade and the salaries have to match 100%, which is very rare. A situation like that would kind of be like, okay, let's say if the, the New Orleans Pelicans and the Miami Heat were to trade Tyler Hero and DeJounte Murray, and they're both second apron teams. This is an example. It's not a real thing. But that's how you can make the trade because DeJounte Murray and Tyler Hero pretty much make the same money. 
Miami's a first apron team. So when you're making a trade, when you're a first apron team, you have to fall under the 125% for 100,000 rule. So you can take back a little bit, uh, excuse me, you can take, uh, move out a little bit of less money when you're a first apron team. But Phoenix is a second apron team. You can't do a trade. The only trade that might work, might work. I don't even think it works because they're like $3 million off. The only player that you can trade Kevin Durant for on this Miami Heat roster is Jimmy Butler. Why the hell would you do that? If you're Pat Riley trying to go all in right now with this team, you're trying to get Kevin Durant to play with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. If you trade Jimmy Butler for Kevin Durant, you're putting yourself in the same situation. Now, yes, the team may be a little bit better with Kevin Durant because we know Kevin Durant plays more during the regular season. He has a relationship with Bam and Team USA. So is it a possibility? Sure, but can pigs fly out of my ass tomorrow? No, but people, I'm sure, I'm sure somebody may say there's a possibility. Like the chances of this happening, you guys, are very rare. So the reason why I wanted to post this video is because I see Twitter, I see you know other Miami Heat platforms, I see a lot of other people talking about the possibility of Miami getting Kevin Durant. It's not gonna happen. It may happen next off season. And that's what Dan Levitard was alluding to because next season, Jimmy Butler, excuse me, can opt out of his 52 million player option. If Jimmy Butler does that, it is gonna knock the heat way under the first apron. So yes, maybe a trade is made for Kevin Durant after the offseason comes and certain players start getting their numbers knocked down. Maybe Phoenix goes down to a first apron and then they can work a trade. But until something like that happens, don't think that the Miami Heat and the Phoenix Suns are gonna make a trade coming this trade deadline. I doubt that happens. So Heat Nation, I wanna hear from you guys. If there was a possibility of getting Kevin Durant, but you had to trade Jimmy Butler, would you do it? Or do you prefer Jimmy Butler on this team? If you ask me, I prefer Jimmy. Jimmy is an MFer. Jimmy's an MFer in the playoffs. I know Kevin Durant is Kevin Durant. But in my opinion, I think Jimmy Butler can lead this team better than Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant's only won twice, you guys. And that was when he joined the Avengers, the Golden State Warriors. Ever since Kevin Durant's left the Warriors and has gone to different teams to, quote, lead them, like the Brooklyn Knicks and the Phoenix Suns, he has fall flat in his face. Would it work here in Miami? Maybe. Should the Heat do the trade? I don't think so. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Don't forget to like the video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, you guys, as we push for 5,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for the continued love and support. Until next time, your boy Ernest out. That's enough said. Yeah, buddy. Let's go.